Well, native Austinite and McCallum High School graduate is close to breaking a record. We're talking about NASA astronaut Tim Copra. But the record he's about to break is something that not every astronaut can <laughs> accomplish. That is for sure. Three weeks from today, Copra and his crewmates from Russia and Europe will launch from the Bankanur Cos Cosmodrome in Kazakhstan aboard their Soyuz spacecraft and they're heading over to the International Space Station. And this morning, guess what? Space we station. have NASA and astronaut morning, Tim Copra yeah. joining us live this morning from the Cosmonaut Training Center in Star City, Russia. I apologize if you're hearing an echo in the background to you at home, but I could assure you that Tim is not hearing that echo. Good morning to you. Tim is not hearing that echo. Good morning to you. <laughs> Good morning. It's great to chat with you. I'm so happy to have you here. So exciting. Tell us about this record that you're about to break. Tell us about this record that you're about to break. Well, you know, frankly, I'm not entirely sure what record you're talking about, except for, you know, maybe number of days in space. For a Texan, I had a, a radio interview that asked me that question. And frankly, I didn't know about that until they mentioned it. Is that what you're talking about? Yes, we were talking about how um, the record of a Texan up in space, and there was some talk about how for the number of days a native Texan has spent in space. Uh, you spent how many days so far in space? I'm thinking 58? 58, 59 days uh, last time around, and uh, and this time, you know, it's it's not 100% clear our exact return date, so we'll have to wait and see. I'll be coming home after uh, five or six months on space station. All right, Tim, tell us about what you're doing aboard right now. What is the mission this time around? You know, the uh, the International Space Station now is an orbiting laboratory, and we spent. Uh, many, many years assembling this orbiting laboratory. Now it's in, it's in use. And our activities every day are to implement the experiments that are on board. We have at least a couple hundred experiments going on at any one time. And as an astronaut, we're both lab technician and scientist, and sometimes we're the experiment itself. And uh, because it's a, a laboratory and it's also our home, it requires lots of maintenance, and we also spend a lot of time fixing it up. We also have to take care of our own body, so we spend a couple hours every day exercising, and that pretty much takes up every day. All right, so tell us um, what you miss about Austin. I know you're a graduate of McCallum High School, and you live here, so what do you miss so much about Austin after being up in space for so long? You know, uh, I miss Austin when we live in Houston uh, because it's my hometown. Uh, I love the people of Austin. There's an attitude and a, a buzz in Austin <laughs> that has been there ever since I was a kid. You know, it's changed a little bit over time, but the essentials of Austin and the attitude and uh, the welcoming uh, atmosphere of Austin is really what I love most. Well, we miss you and best of luck on your mission. Thank you so much for all you do and for making us proud here in Austin.